Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part 8 of Prison Architect, a new start with Orbital Potato. Um, we're just going to go ahead and put this in 3 times speed. And as you can see, the cells that we were working on last time have now been completed. And we're almost so close to being back in the black. We are currently 3 bucks in the red, but that shouldn't be a problem. And our cash flow should sort us out in the very near future. So as you can see, I did leave it running for just a little bit. Nothing very interesting has happened. These cells were the only things um, that were completed. Um, they still don't have running water and we of course have no money to put down the pipes and the electricity cable, but I'm sure we will very soon indeed. Um, how are our grants coming along? raise your prison capacity to 100 well as you can see we still need to seal off these cells and that'll give us two four six seven more so that'll bring us up to a capacity of 90 which means we'll only need another 10 cells to complete this grant so that is good how are our license plates coming along well they're not really um we have a couple of prisoners who are qualified to work in the workshop. Yep, two two prisoners are qualified to work in the workshop, but nobody else. Um, foundation education program, we seem to be having a little bit of a problem with that last time because all rooms are booked. That's not great because it worked perfectly well last time and I have no idea why it wouldn't work this time seems completely illogical I have to have a wee look at that and uh, and see what it says online um, overall our prison is looking pretty decent we've got definitely the space to expand our cells over here and down here and down here and down here and down here etc 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 we have 14 visitors on site in six groups and they're visiting the visitation room, which is very, very small, actually. Um, we could probably think about expanding that, but maybe not when we have next to no money. Um, solitary cells, we have 13 people in solitary, one awaiting, and two people requiring medical attention. So, as you can see, since we've increased our, our punishments, people have uh, been getting locked up in solitary cells a lot more. We just got 1,450 for exports. Um, what were we exporting? Logs? Good, I'm fine if we're exporting logs. That's a lot of money that we can uh, we can make use of. Um, so what are we going to do with this extra thousand? We could probably wall up these prison cells because at the moment... Yeah, because at the moment these don't actually count as cells, so we only managed to wall up a couple. Um, but that'll still increase our capacity by four. Um, what else we can probably do is increase, or should I say turn on, our prisoner intake. So we can expect 600 bucks reform program session. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. We are losing five bucks an hour. Oh, I don't even think, do we have, I think we've taken out our full bank loan. Yep, can't decrease that, can't accept any more grants. Um, we could sell some more of our shares for 25,000. Um, I think we will. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Um, we can always buy buy these shares back at a later date, but it'll be good to just have the infrastructure in place so we can accept this grant or should I say complete this grant uh, at long last so we'll just go ahead and build a pipe down there and then we'll run off little ones all the way along just so when we put ourselves in we'll already have the pipes underneath there we go Yep, 
so this will probably be quite expensive and in the short term won't be very helpful but in the long term it should uh, uh, it should be necessary well it will be necessary anyway um, good cable now we can bring the cable down here and we'll bring it down here as well good so we're looking pretty dandy those workmen will get to work looks like we've got a hearse out in the front for some reason and we are increasing our capacity as we speak good um, clone tool let's go ahead and clone this and I know we just got uh, money not long ago but I am willing to throw it all away in pursuit of this grant so this will cost us a bit of money but we need to do it and taking in prisoners is definitely something that is uh, not, maybe not our top priority but, but very high on the agenda to do we do want to increase the number of prisoners we have in our prison because well we'll get more money for it eventually and so that's just what we're going to do I think that's probably an appropriate amount of cells that'll put us above the hundred uh, the hundred capacity which is what we're after here and shouldn't really require any extra money how are the license plates going? These they just take such a long time I think I might adjust the regime so we have an extra yeah let's cut down on the amount they have to eat so we can cut out well these two replace that with work and then we will degrade where is it yep to medium and medium which automatically means we're a thousand we're a thousand bucks positive in cash flow and if we increase that to low what would that that would get us an extra 500 well quantity high yeah so meal variety low meal quantity high means we're getting the maximum amount of money and hopefully keeping our prisoners happy ish so that is good in the long term and we're still buying prisoners uniform I don't understand why we are because we should be recycling it all why is the crumpled uniforms here these should be ironed why why would you not iron it oh it seems so unbelievably illogical anyway we could just finish off the materials for this cell and the workmen do actually have quite a long building queue so we'll probably leave them to do that uh, for now in the meantime what can we be doing well that's a good question we could look at future grants and I think that's just what we'll do because uh, la last uh, last episode we completely updated the guard deployment and the prison policy and we now have guards deployed to all over the prison really and it's looking very very organized actually remarkably so how are we doing for jobs people nobody's assigned to the laundry ah uh, since since we changed the door in the uh since we changed the door for access to this new classroom over here we must have not reassigned the jobs to the laundry room that's not really a problem um should work out in the long term in the short term, in every term, it'll be fine. Not worried at all. Future grants, yes, we're going back to that. Yes, let's have a look. Um, MaxSec infrastructure implementation. Increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor through bureaucracy. We've done that. Unlock tasers through bureaucracy. We haven't done that, but we can if we wanted to. Build a CCTV monitor. Place CCTV cameras throughout your prison okay I think we should probably do that and at the moment I don't think the security room works but it might so we'll have to see anyway the security room I feel should go next to the admin block 
probably up here. We can start planning it out. Um, maybe that sort of size for uh, for the security room. If we just expand it a little bit. Um, I think that's quite a good size. And then we can expand this fence up here and put a door in there. I quite like that idea. I think we're just going to go straight ahead and do it because we are going to need it for the grant. As soon as we raise our prisoner capacity to 100 we can accept this next one and if we're underway with it already then that will be a fantastic start. This building is going to be reasonably cheap at $1,320. So overall we are still 5000 bucks up and I am well aware that we might need to buy back our shares of the prison. At the moment, that's not our main concern, and these workmen are just building the cells, which is very helpful. Visiting Visitation room is quite small, um, and I am very aware of this, and we might need to increase the size. I'm not I'm not entirely sold on this block. I mean it was good for when we were starting out, but now we've got sort of a a monstrous a monstrous prison. Um I'm happy with the size of the workshop. I'm happy with the size of the shower at the moment, although it might need to be increased sooner or later. The laundry room is excessive in size and it's really really good for the future. Kitchen I'm fairly happy with even though we might need more fridges because it looks like all these fridges are full. Um cookers looking pretty decent nothing to complain about there three serving tables that seems to be enough the canteen can be expanded if we need to and um, we don't really need to we're consistently feeding 73 percent of our prisoners every day which is very very good okay so what are we not too happy with oh no who's this pete font pete, pete font self-made vacuum cleaners self-made vacuum cleaners door to door until one of his customers told them they were crap Pete beat the man with a baseball bat, yet he was sentenced for robbery. That's okay, he's got no reputation and pretty average guy with a 7% chance of uh, of reoffending. Good, I'm very glad that, uh, that he's not going to be reoffending. Very happy with that, that we've uh, we've actually positively impacted on uh, on that guy's life. Happy with the size of the kennel, we can definitely increase uh, our number of dog handlers if we if we wanted to. We we don't really at the moment. We could increase our armed guards up to twelve if if we wanted to, but we we don't. I don't think quite yet. And let's go into bureaucracy and see what we've got left to unlock. So we only have taser rollout. Uh, left to do. We have unlocked CCTV which will allow us to build cameras and we can build cameras by going into utilities and having a look around. So the workmen's just started building this and then we can start placing CCTV monitors and CCTV cameras around um, as soon as that building is completed. Good! We're, uh, we're not looking too shabby at all. And we're at 95, 95 uh, safe capacity, and so so completing these cells will bring us well above the uh, the capacity that we need. Let's have a look at the needs of the prisoners. See if they're happy. Sleep. Yep. Well, sleep's about to start. I think. Yep. Sleep's about to start. Um, freedom. You're in prison, guys. Get over it. Food. food is a bit of an issue, and we could probably bump up the quality of their food if we wanted to, but I mm, don't think we really want to, to be honest. Low variety food. We'll keep it exciting. If there's a riot, then, uh, then that's probably pretty good, because it'll be pretty fun to deal with. Um, storage. Deliveries. Storage. That's probably something we uh, we need to to think about there's a big deliveries area over here and I think this is the storage area so we could probably designate uh, this area maybe as storage just for now until we get a more permanent uh, permanent setup uh, ready once we once basically we, once we have the enough money to to build a building then uh, we'll definitely uh, attempt to build a storage building, which will be positive. What's going on out here? That looks... 
disgusting. Maybe somebody's taken a piss in the middle of the yard or just dragged their food out or something. I don't know. They're prisoners. They could do anything. Good. So in nine hours we have 23 prisoners arriving. That is going to fairly increase our cash flow. That is quite a considerable number of prisoners arriving in the morning. And look, we are just a way to complete cell block C grant and we are about to raise our maximum safe capacity to 100 prisoners which will thankfully give us a bit of money 20,000 big ones it's uh, something that uh, I think I'm quite looking forward to at the end of the day still build still building these uh, these pipes under the prison the yep the water pipes but that's not too much of a concern currently Good, so what have we got left to do, actually? Well, that's a good question. This is now complete. We can remove this planning section. And we can think about installing two CCTV monitors, maybe, for now. That's probably enough. Yeah, 2,000. And then over the entire prison, we can try installing CCTV cameras. Now I'm not sure which way round do these go? How which way round do they go? I'm not entirely sure. No, that yeah, so that seems to, so we'll stick that one there. That one there and that one there. We'll see if that works. And then this one there, that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there that one there and that one there and we do need to connect them with wires but obviously we'll have to wait before we'll have to wait for these uh, CCTV, CCTV monitors to be installed first and we're at 99 maximum save capacity and undoubtedly the 100th cell in this prison will be completed very very soon indeed ladies and gentlemen yes that's it we are finally going to raise our prisoner capacity to over a hundred prisoners and boy am I excited about it yep come on you just need to put one piece one piece here this one should be prison yeah this one yay we got it twenty thousand and now we can accept uh, this grant, MaxSec Infrastructure Implementation, and we get a 20,000 advance payment for that, and we can probably decrease this loan to, uh, to nothing. Good. I am so glad we got that done. We are now sitting pretty at almost $40,000, yes, and we have a cash flow of almost 4000 That is absolutely phenomenal do remember that, uh, that it was either last episode or the episode before that we completed offshore tax haven which did cost a lot of money but was eventually worth it so increase this increase the size of your security force well I'm not sure how large we need to increase it to but that seems to do it and um, we did it. We just got 20,000. So we've completed two grants in this episode already. And we can start looking at the next one. Short term investment. Yeah, might as well do it. 71 hours. Gonna take a wee while to complete. Um, But it'll give us money eventually. Oh, no, we do not want to buy the plot of land. Not quite yet. Uh, we are going to need power, of course, for these monitors up here. So we can drag some electrical cable up this side of the wall. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Have the CCTV cameras gone in yet? Yes, they have. Yes, they all have. Most of them have. Some of them have. Some of them have. That is good news. Um we can try and connect Ooh. yep this working yep good is that 
Nope, why are you going down here? Not cool, but okay. Not too much of an issue. So I'm not entirely sure if these uh, CCTV monitors and cameras will work, but we can connect them all up, see what they do, and uh, if they if they work, that's great. If they don't, that's not really a big deal for us. We'll be fine. Just connect all these bad boys up. Good, and then connect that one to there. Show wires, yep, we want to see wires. Okay, connect, and then we'll go from here all the way up to this one. Good. And then when this one is installed, we can just connect it to this network over here. Good. I am very happy with the progress that we've already made in this episode. Our grant situation is looking a lot better than it was at the start of the episode. Um, considering we've already completed two, our cash flow has has just has just increased so so much. How are the prisoners' needs doing? Yep, that's not too bad. I mean, they're sleeping at the moment, so what can you expect? Um, yeah, this is this has been quite an episode. We have got a fair amount done. It's quite surprising, actually how much we've uh, we've actually got done so room security can we define this yep yep security room that seems to have passed it even though we need an office desk a chair and a filing cabinet no nope. um okay well we can stick um stick the stuff we need in there anyway even though i'm almost certain uh, it won't do anything um, office desk, where is that? There we go. And a filing cabinet here. That can go in the corner there. Nice and tightly packed. Okay, so what does this say? Yep, so we have two guards on here now. So, does that mean we can see what's happening over here? Inactive, build more CCTV monitors. Yep, so I'm not entirely sure if... Uh, if uh, if this actually works because it is plugged in and I think it should be working but uh, but it might not be oh well not not a huge concern and um, speaking of police officers well not really but we can probably assign four I think four police officers to this area uh, it is our main cell block and it is quite important um, yeah, we don't really need any of this stuff at the moment. I suppose we could define this area as staff, but that's really that's really about it. That's all we need to really worry about. Um, so we do have prisoners coming in in 20 minutes, which will be good because we haven't accepted prisoners in an awful long time. And we do have around, well, we've got 47 free cells that can be taken up by by prisoners and um, we'll just extend this down here there we go so we can get light to every corner good um here we go here here are the prisoners let's uh, have a read of their bios of course reading with what looks like a stack of potatoes that is that is prison grade transportation right there Christopher Hoare, sentenced to one year for driving under the influence, not very interesting. John Hughes, multiple crimes, bit boring. Adam Supertank Waterhouse, the Supertank has committed more crimes than anyone cares to think about. After years of taking damage, he decided to give it out, and several people have now died from his high level of AOE DPS. <laughs> if approached in a group, could be dangerous. Sentenced to five years, aggravated vehicle theft. Richard Ward. Sentenced to six years for multiple crimes including assault, violent disorder, and assaulting an officer. Bit boring. Benjamin Gilliford. Bit boring. Aston Petit. Pretty sure we've already got a guy like him called Petit in the prison. Not entirely sure. And Dan Petit, of course. Oh, two brothers who look very different indeed. But, hey. Who cares? They're going to prison. Doesn't particularly matter what they look like. Okay next button.
Welch. Sean Welch. Boring. 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 Peter. Peter Knowles. Ignored ergonomics advice and failed to take frequent breaks during coding sessions. Mild eye fatigue and muscle strain soon escalated into the tragic events portrayed so memorably in the TV movie, movie Carpal Tunnel of Death, The Peter Knowles Story. Sentenced to six years for rioting. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's really good. Uh, Tom Pigeon, that's a very unusual name, but you've got a boring bio. So that's 16 prisoners, and we're still waiting on another bunch. Yep. Here we go. Alex Spaceman Glidewell. Alex Glidewell is convicted of copyright infringement and grand theft auto after hacking a car company engineering server and 3D printing the latest model. Pleaded guilty, stating, yes, I would download a car. Funny, funny guy. Paul Palmer. Boring. John 7-Bit Nottenbelt. John 7-Bit Nottenbelt incarcerated for contempt of court after refusing to divulge the final bit of his SSH key. He stands accused of grand larceny sed sedation? Seditation? Seditation? But it's not Seditation. Anyway, and lack of address sense. Good. Call the fashion police. Martin Sandy Reig, master hacker, got cough hacking the government of Norway with a Samsung Galaxy Note from the local McDonald's. Did not know McDonald's sold Samsung Galaxy Notes. Further investigation gave the answer gave the answer of lots of odd questions like who made the crown princess believe in angels and what the fox said. Okay, moving on. Will Victoria Will Victoria was incarcerated after a prank he played on one of his teachers got a little out of hand. Interesting. Tristan Rar Monkey Campion. Champion? Campion? Maybe I don't know how it's pronounced. Could could be either. Rar Monkey attempted to rob the police station next to the bank after losing his glasses. The arresting officer was able to assist in locating his glasses on top of his head. Rar Monkey is always Rar Monkey. Okay. And we've already read his profile. So, what a bunch of ragtag guys we have coming into our prison uh, today. But, that'll do it for this episode. I think we've done quite a lot, and I'm pretty pleased with our progress, and I think you should be as well. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, give us a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, I've been Orbital Potato, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!